Kidnapping has now become a very profitable business in Nigeria. These guys' mother and younger sister were kidnapped and they demanded a ransom of over 200 million naira. Unfortunately, the family did not have that money. So they had to sell off properties, they had to take loan. At the end of the day, the kidnappers decided to accept 15 million naira. And this is their story. The last talk I told them, okay, we said we have five million. They called us and we've not leave those police station. The next thing, the next picture we will see is our people that they did not want transfer, they need cash. Some guys came to pick us with AK-47. No, those ones that even came to pick us, they are not even up to 18 years, if I'm not mistaken, with better AK-47. Hi, my name is Kevin Neze. They kidnapped my mom and my younger sister. I was the one that went for their negotiation and their release. When reaching there, I find that it was small, small, full and new boys, and one of them called his name the General. I ended up paying 15 million, and all this is happening in Kogi State. This is my story. Bro, I can't believe that young teenagers were the ones responsible for your Very mother's Very young, kingdom. young teenager. Like, if I'm saying, the oldest of them should be that kind, 22, 23. Are you serious? Which is the assistant to the guy that calls himself the general, which is their gang leader. That is even, it's even beating his child, like, with proudness, with bra, like, I'm the general. Anything, nothing will happen and we get Nigeria. Wow. Can you tell us how this happened? What really happened? Oh, um, my mom. And uh, in short, it's not just only my mom and my sister. They take the full bus. The driver that was trying to run away, they have to shoot the driver at once, even without hesitating. This thing, uh, then we now went to that uh, at Kogi, went to that Ozara police station after making reports. Then we not, uh, the DPO now came with much talk. Then in that police station, we would not even know how those people even know what was even going on. They called us and we've not leave those police station. The next thing, the next picture we will see is our people and they will not give us the dead body. They will just throw the dead body in the forest for vulture to chop something, stuff like that. So we have to just like leave those police people there. Jesus, you mean that these kidnappers were aware that you guys went to the police station? They, it means they have an informant from the police. They were, I say when we were talking to the DPO at that Osara police station, Kogi State, the next call we just received, I would not leave this place. The next picture we are seeing, we are seeing our people dead body. And they will not even hand over the dead body, so they will throw it into the forest. Oh my goodness, this is really crazy. So they reached out to you and uh, asked for a ransom of 200 million. Yes, they started with 100, 100 each. So we started like when we wanted to even like when I wanted to even like say ah, then I hang up the call. Then I not took them like that kind of three to four hours. Then I call back. Then we started like say okay, this is nobody plan and stuff like that. Then I say we are not serious. Okay, then I say okay, the hundred million is too much. We should pay hundred. Uh, the hundred hundred each is too much for them. We should pay hundred for both of them. I say ah, boss, me I calm down. And in Nigeria, we tell I say we they work for House of Assembly or NNMPC, all those kind of things. The guy now hang up because the guy did not call us again that day. So the, in the morning around that kind eight o'clock, then I call us back. So from then and I say okay, we should pay fifty million. Like they started negotiating from that 50 million, then I say, okay, uh, if the 50 million is too much, then I bring it down to 40 million. We said, we even say, we, the last talk I told them, okay, we said we have 5 million. Then I hung up the call, they not call for two days. Then the next call that they called, then I say, okay, this is the last price. Whether we take it or we leave it, we should bring 20 million, 10, 10 million each. When I say we do not have the money, after much, like with much talk, then I hang up the call around that kind 2 p.m. that they called. Then I call back around that kind 10 to 11. That day was on Friday, and the next day was supposed to be their election day, which is Kogi election day. So then I say around... Uh, around that kind of uh, level that they called, and I said we should bring uh, the sum of 15 million that if we not that they do not want transfer, they need cash. Imagine one day in Tava, not even one day, some hours in Tava, where we won't start from, and again, it's weekend, hmm. where we won't even start from. So, to God be the glory, with like we were running around, checking up, asking people, like the people we know calling the end of the day we now generate like 
10 million, we are still looking for like 5 million. So to God be the glory, that day was Kogi State election. Then I call us again, because they say we're supposed to start coming to Kogi. They're supposed to see us again, 12 o'clock. They did not call us. They say we should wait for your call. They did not call us. So I got that kind for uh, two. Then I call us. Say okay, they will not have chance to see because of all the old police, all the old things that we should come back the next day, which is on Sunday. But we are coming in the morning. Anything nine o'clock, twelve o'clock. They need their money with some of their packages that they are, say we should bring for them. So that is how we thank God. So that uh, Saturday we now use it. To collect loan of five million, which I'm still painting tomorrow. So with everything, now we have collected the money. Now the problem now is how to get the cash. We start working from all the OPOS. Anybody that we even see after explaining the story, if you want to give us one million, the person we say we should pay on get where we are still looking for money, we are still paying money to get oh, money. Were, okay, you will need cash. Yes. So if you go to somebody that has one million naira cash, they'll ask you to bring hundred thousand naira. They will remove hundred thousand if they are giving us cash of one million. They will give us hundred thousand. They'll give you nine hundred thousand. Uh, yes, they will give us nine hundred thousand. For nine, 10 million, we don't cut, cut, we don't come out 1 million. So we finally get 9 million, all the old ATM. At that time, all this, like, that um, cashless time that they say that you can't withdraw more than 20,000 in an ATM. So imagine the stress, imagine the headache, everything. Ah! Like... So the person, to God be the glory, even the person that I went to meet for the loan, the person now with everything, I even show him the video, he said everything, the person now said, okay, he will give us the money. Which video did you show him? I, we have the video, they sent us some video now. Of your mother and sister? He, of my sister. So the person now said, okay, no problem. To God be the glory, the person you have cash at home, he's a businessman, and now give us the 5 million cash, that is um, everything. We just got the 15 million. So we now have to go and meet another person for that 1 million again to complete it, that 15 million. That's how we got the cash of 15 million. Hmm. Wow. Wow. So the next day, which is Sunday, they called around 6 a.m. Say, okay, hope we are ready. We say we are ready. Then I say, okay, we should start coming to Kogi State. That was our side. So we now reached that Kogi State, that was uh, that was uh, we, we just as we just they asked us the color of motor we and we now say the color of motor is black. So when they saw the jeep, they now say okay, we should park. After we park, they now left us there about like two to three hours. They did not even call us. The next call that they will receive, they now say we should leave the car there. We should start entering. Say that we should go front, we we'll see one goal. We should just start entry that we should just be going straight. After the after there, then I call us, then I show we should stop. Then we now saw one rider. Then I call us, say we should follow the rider. Then we now follow the riders. Then we now reach that the place more work. I don't even know. They are not even like if they even if they carry me go yourself. I know I can't even still remember that place again. But what I know, we now stop at one place that they are selling to all these Fulani women are selling to mantos. Are you serious? Inside yes. the bush? Yes. We have Fulani, if you might just say, for instance, now you will see house in this side, in the next five meters, you will see another house. All these are Fulani kind of house. As we walk inside, we now saw the general. Uh, we know we saw some guys. Some guys came to pick us with AK 47, no. Small, small boys, so. Not those ones that even came to pick us, they are not even up to 18 years, if I'm not mistaken, with better AK 47. The thing just like I was just I was supposed to be scared, but I, when I saw like when I see children, I like say, ah, now even children they even they do all this thing. But I can't like reason like okay, maybe this one are the messenger. I'm gonna go see the real people. The real boss, their guard, their commander, the people that the person that I was talking to, stuff like that. So when we went there, the one small boy just came out. It was he, he was the only one that is holding pistol. The rest we are holding AK-47. Now come out and I say, where's his money? And the, and the funny part of it all, this guy did not count the money. Oh. The guy just said, where's my money? I just like, see the money. He just collected the money. 
and give to one of you uh, to his second. Then I say, we they go police show, we they go and me say whether I know whether I'm the general. She ask about him where. Say who know no for this country. Say he's speaking pigeon. Yeah, pigeon. Like this one, like I would just say it's like a little bit like because he was pigeon was like no full and neat tongue, not things. Pigeon was like okay. So the guy like say whether I know no, say whether we know no. We go more say those police people know. Say we even get luck. Say say them that kidnap us. So say like. We should even be happy that it's not even all those kind of wicked things. Say they for just kill our people through yeah. They will not say that after they collected the money, they did not count the money. They just he just gave the guy the money. Then they now say we should go to another village, like four village there. We will see our people. That is how we just went there. I saw my mom and son and my younger sister. My younger sister just got come and hug me. To God be the glory, they no even touch her, nothing like rape case or even sexual harassment, all those things, they did not do anything like that. The only thing, she could not even eat for three days. We even have to take her to hospital, put drips in her body, all those kind of stuff. So before she now get herself to start eating, that the only what she could, she imagine small girl of not even up to 25 years. Stay for a good one week, we start eating, and it's only water, drinking water. Haba. Hmm. Wow, a lot is going on in this country, honestly. And nobody exactly knows if they are completely safe because every day we wake up with goals we want to achieve. We want to go to the market, we want to go to church, we want to see this person, we want to travel here, we are going for work, or one opportunity or the other. But we don't know the day that we'll go and we'll never return safely. What exactly is going on in this country? And why is it that this place is where the kidnap activity is going on? Is somewhere that is easily accessible. Why is the Nigerian police not making efforts to rescue people? What exactly is going on? Why are we citizens suffering for things that... Why are we suffering for insecurity? We barely even have enough to eat and pay our rent. Some of us, when we want to start business or want to do something meaningful with our life, it's difficult to get the money. But then we wake up and we experience things like this and then we run helter scatter. All the opportunities we ever have in raising up an amount like that, we use it to set to kidnap cases. This is really crazy and it's really sad. I pray that everybody watching this video May none of us become unfortunate. I pray that the grace of God, the angels Amen. of God will always be with us. Amen. And I hope that God will listen to our cry and he will definitely send somebody to help us. Because Amen. right now, the children of God, they are in bondage and they are suffering. Uh, God needs to answer our cry. He needs to answer our prayers. We need the Messiah to come and save us. This is oppression. We can't help ourselves right now. We can only pray that god will come to our rescue Amen. i thank god that nothing happened to your sister and your family and um you also did something really brief there are some people that if they are the ones that were kidnapped their family will never make that much effort do you understand they will even take loan and i'm sure that right now you are still struggling to pay that loan. yes no i'm struggling like every month i pay fifty thousand from the loan can't imagine the nigeria hardship now joined to that thing now. and this one i can't even go to explain to because i gave him my word i will pay so i can't like man see the country itself is f this one self if you imagine the hardship imagine everything that is happening in nigeria and i'm still paying fifty thousand every month how much is how much is my salary yeah i'm so sorry bro may god help us all amen this is really sad all right guys i don't know what else to say and um may god see you true amen. if there's anybody that would like to assist him or his family with any form of support kindly reach out okay so we support them it is not easy 50 million era from no uh, and that's crazy all right, guys. Let's say bye to our viewers. Thank you so Thank much you for, for watching. Thank you for watching. We really appreciate it. We hope that... And keep watching this channel. <laughs> yeah, keep watching anyway. Keep watching. Keep following. Yeah. And still 
invite your friends to still follow stuff like that yeah it's a really good one yeah by by we, we are creating a community of positive mind by sharing more stories like this our agencies will be able to make better decisions more people come out to talk. the more people come out to talk about these issues i certainly believe that there'll be change yes that that's it, it. Yes. that's my belief all right bye <laughs>